Okay, I wanted to talk a little bit about mass selection. It's a breeding procedure that hopefully in your plant breeding class you'll have learned and mastered. Uh, but I've got a good example here of a cotton in, in our uh, cotton breeding program. Two years ago, we had two different lines here. They were growing in close proximity to each other. We had an okra leaf line. You'll notice the okra leaf looking leaves here. And it was planted close to this other cotton plant that looks a little red. It's got maroon leaves there very distinctive. So what happened here is we had a bee that uh, cross-pollinated and uh, so they cross-pollinated those two and last growing season out of the okra leaf line here we started seeing a few plants that looked a little bit like this and this is a good example of a heterozygous plant. Uh, you'll see it's got a little bit of a red tinge to it and a little bit of an okra leaf there. So it's an intermediate type there. So what I did uh, in this big grow out of this okra leaf is I went through and I mass selected plants that had this intermediate uh, shape because I knew it was a heterozygous between the two types. And if you'll see behind me, you'll see examples of how this continues to segregate. These are actually F2 plants. You'll see some here that have the red okra leaf because uh, it segregated that direction. You'll still see some intermediate tops. There's an intermediate red with a true okra leaf. Here's a uh, true green with an intermediate okra leaf. And here's a normal leaf that's got a little bit of a red tinge to it. But what I'll do is I'll go through here, and this is where mass selection comes in because I'm looking specifically for a plant that is red with an okra leaf because one of the advantages with this type of uh, trait it's red tends to give us a little bit of extra worm protection, host plant resistance to worms. And also with that okra leaf, you get better spray penetration when you do have to apply uh, pesticides. So it's able to penetrate deeper into the canopy. And also it's thought that this okra leaf might be a little more drought tolerant. So this is uh, definitely the type of plant that we're looking for here. And so what I can do is I can just go down this line and start pulling out all the plants. There, see there's a red okra leaf that I don't want. There's an intermediate type. And you'll see that there's, you have to remove a lot of plants within a row to get the kind that you really want. And we'll continue that until we just get these red intermediate tops and that's mass selection. And if you look down here, here's some that I did a few days ago. And so what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to take a, a rose that look like this and then thin them down to rows that look like that with only remaining uh, red ochre leaf tops. So in essence, that's a, a pretty, pretty fair example of mass selection procedure.